sourdough starter out of the refrigerator and let it come to room temperature. You want to measure one pound of sourdough starter. A little more, but that's okay. Put it in your bowl. want to use bread flour. The best bread flour is King Arthur. If you can't find it, just get unbleached bread flour specifically. You want eight ounces, which is about a cup and three quarters. Put it in your bowl with eight ounces of water. And you're going to mix that until it's a really wet, sticky dough. Now that it's thoroughly mixed, you want to cover it with plastic wrap and let it sit at room temperature until it gets all bubbly. After three to four hours, it should look like this. All bubbly. All you do is cover it again, put it in the fridge until tomorrow. So when you take your barm or sourdough starter out of the fridge, this is how it's going to look. All bubbly, you see the bubbles. And you want it to come to room temperature. And then, get a measuring cup, kind of wet, and scoop out about two thirds of a cup. That's close enough, it doesn't have to be exact. Put it in the bowl. When you get it wet, it helps keep it from sticking to the inside. So then you want to add a cup of bread flour. And when you measure your bread flour, don't just scoop it out. You want to take another cup and sprinkle it in. Otherwise, it gets too compacted in there, and it actually ends up being more than what you want. Next, you want to put about one eighth to one fourth cup of water. And just mix it. So you want to mix this until it makes a firm dough. And I just actually need it a little right in the bowl. You just want to distribute everything, the water, the flour, and your sourdough starter. You don't have to do it for long. So you have a nice little ball of dough here that you've lightly kneaded. It's all evenly distributed. And you just want to put some Pam or oil in a bowl. Put your dough in. Flip it over, get it covered with the oil, and then you want to cover this with plastic wrap for three to four hours. Then put it in the refrigerator overnight. So after three or four hours, it's going to be puffy, and when you look underneath, you'll see lots of air is in the dough. Now, you can make your bread dough now, but I put mine in the fridge overnight to give it extra flavor. So that's what I am going to do right now. So you take your firm starter out of the refrigerator and you 
want to take it out of the bowl, put it on your countertop or a cutting board. And you want to cut it up into eight or ten pieces. Cover it up and let it sit for an hour. Now we're going to go ahead and make the final bread dough. So again, you want to use bread flour, King Arthur, if you can find it. And remember, when you measure, you scoop in to the cup. You want a total of four and a half cups of flour. I'm going to do three bread flour and a cup and a half of white whole wheat. But you can use all bread flour if you want to. I just like to put a little whole wheat in mine. So we've measured four and a half cups of flour. I've got three cups bread flour, cup and a half of white whole wheat. And we need two teaspoons of salt. I like to use kosher or sea salt. I don't use regular table salt. That's just kind of nasty. You get better flavor with kosher salt or sea salt. And sea salt's better for you. So you just want to give it a little mix. And hopefully you have a KitchenAid because it makes your life so much easier when you're making bread or anything. Then you take the pieces that you cut up earlier and you just put them in. We cut them up because it makes it easier to distribute them throughout the dough. We're just going to give a little mix. Add one and a half to one and three quarters cup of just lukewarm water. So you want to add that in. Get it incorporated. Until you get it to kind of start sticking together. It's kind of coming together. Sometimes with whole wheat, you need to add a little extra water. Check out how it looks. And then you want to sprinkle your counter with flour, plop your dough out onto it. And we're going to start kneading. I want to show you the right way to knead because you're going to be kneading for 12 to 15 minutes. Just push it away from you and turn it a quarter turn. Push it away, turn, kind of try to fold it over. And you just keep doing it for about 12 or 15 minutes. on one of these wooden peels or a cookie sheet that's been turned upside down and you put cornmeal on the peel or cookie sheet and then put your loaves on the cornmeal. This is called a lathe. You can use a really sharp knife or a razor blade. You want to cut three or four 
lines on the top. And then we're going to put it in the oven. Get a cup of hot water. Bring your oven temperature up to 500. This is a baking stone. If you don't have one, you can set a cookie sheet upside down and you want to put a pan beneath it. So you slide your bread dough in and then pour the hot water in the pan and close this as quickly as possible. So after 30 seconds, you want to spritz your dough. Close the door. You do that three times every 30 seconds and then turn your oven temperature down to 450 degrees. And set your timer for 15 to 20 minutes. You want the dough, inside of the dough temperature to be 205 degrees. I set mine for 15 minutes and then check it. So it's been 15 minutes. You want to take your bread out. You can just kind of tap on it. And you can also take the temperature. If it sounds like it's kind of hollow, it's usually done. So I'm just going to take the temperature. If you take its temperature, you want it to be 205. We've got this thermometer. It's up to 176 now. So they reach the temperature they needed to be. You want to cool them on a rack so they don't get soggy on the bottom. Usually you need to wait an hour to eat it, but let's be real. You're going to eat it before then. So go for it.